Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today I'm going to show you how to torque down a cylinder head, how to prep the block and the cylinder head, torquing it down, the specs, and the sequence. All right, this is a 2006 to 2011 uh, Toyota with the 2AZ FE engine. All right, 2.4 liter. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're installing this is to have new head bolts, all right? You wanna oil them. You wanna oil the washer on the bottom and oil the washer in between the washer and the head on the top on each one, all right? You wanna blow out each of the cylinder bolt thread holes, okay? We're gonna to wanna to check it for straightness. What you're gonna use is a mechanic square and you see this? It's uh, 0 0.002, that's two thousandths of an inch. All right, you want to check, make sure with a mechanic straight edge, this is a very precision straight edge. You don't, you can't go under, especially in the middles. All right, you do it like that. Then you do it like this. Same way, and then you do it like this. Same way, and the same thing with the head. It's gonna wanna fall. Anyhow, that way, that way, and that way. Now, once you know it's nice and straight, now, back up a minute. Of course, this all has to be clean first, both of them. What I like using is a brand new razor, all right? A brand new razor blade, never dig in. Always use it like this, 45, uh, 90 degree angle and you scrape. You scrape, you can feel everything. You scrape all around, nice. All right, then you clean it up and then, then you get a brand new razor and do the same thing until it's nice and smooth, all right? And the same thing with the block. Okay, now after we get to that area, we're gonna get a nice fresh clean cloth all right, put a little carburetor cleaner on it, parts cleaner, and clean it all up. Make it nice and clean on both of them. I'm gonna do that now, and then and then I'll show you the next step. So, you go all around the surfaces. Make sure there's no oils or nothing in the way. All right, clean both of them. And now, I'm gonna install a brand new head gasket. And just pay attention, uh, it really can't go on both ways. No, some, some of them they can, but you pay attention to the holes. You see the little holes right here? And this hole is usually bigger than this one, so you really can't mess it up. All right, like that, nice and clean. Now we're just gonna lay the head, and what you really wanna do you don't want to like put the head on and then move it in and then until it goes down. You're going to, you know, you don't want to scratch the gasket. Try to line it up the best you can in the front and then just like straight down and just a little bit of wiggle until you get it on. Like over here, this flat part is pretty much flat with this part. So you just line it up from there and then just drop it down. You see what I mean? Over here is nice and flat. So you just try to line it up and then just drop it down nice. And another thing you wanna do, just make sure, take one hand, put one hand here and one hand diagonal here and put pressure on both sides. Make sure it's not rocking, it shouldn't rock. And another thing I like doing is just making sure that the seam is nice and tight without anything on it yet. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's laying nice and flat all the way around See, nice and flat all the way around before you start putting your bolts and everything because you want to make sure it's seated perfectly, nothing's in the way. Because as you torque it down, let's say if there's a little piece of material you didn't see, you torque them all down, it's going to leak. All right, so now we're going to put the head bolts. 
All right, so this is the talk sequence. You can stop the video if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, you're gonna need a triple square spline drive, a 12 millimeter, all right? And we're gonna talk them down first to 52 foot pounds. 52 foot pounds all the way to all 10 of them. All right, and then we'll continue. Okay, so now after we do the 52 pounds, all 10 of them in the proper sequence, now we're gonna uh, do another 90 degrees. So you see, like that, like that is 90 degrees. All right, well, if you're starting here, That's 90 degrees. Now, when you do it, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna probably be really, uh, you know, nice and, um, it's gonna be hard to turn it, so use a, you can use a pipe. But make sure, when you start this thing, that this is nice and straight like that. Don't, don't go like that. It's to be like that, then you can use the pipe to go like that, and you do it in sequence, all 10 of them again. And then the torque sequence is done. And now, a couple of uh, tips. The washer that goes in here, uh, you may have to put the washer in first and then put the um, bolt in, all right? So maybe it's a little too tight. And another thing is when you're talking them down to 52, if the ratchet starts going pop, 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 like it's like dry, you have to take the bolts out and re-lube them. It has to be smooth up to 52 pounds. It can't be choppy, okay? And especially with the other 90 degrees too. It can't be like crack, the ratchet cracking because that's uh, inaccurate reading. All right, other than that, that's how it's done. All right, guys, motor car up. Please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, leave them low. I answer all my questions and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.